Once upon a time, in a small village nestled between dense woods and rolling hills, lived a curious young boy named Ethan. One sunny afternoon, Ethan decided to explore the lesser-traveled side road that led into the heart of the mysterious forest. Unbeknownst to him, this road led to the domain of an ancient and powerful witch. As Ethan strolled along the narrow path, he felt the call of nature. Far from any public facilities, he decided to relieve himself by the side of the road, not realizing he had chosen the very spot that belonged to the reclusive witch. Little did Ethan know that his seemingly innocent act had consequences. The witch, feeling insulted by the intrusion, decided to teach the young boy a lesson he would not soon forget. That night, as Ethan lay in his bed, an otherworldly force took hold of him. He found himself sleepwalking through the dark woods, guided by an invisible hand. The witch, with her ethereal presence, appeared before him. Young trespasser, the witch spoke with an echo that sent shivers down Ethan's spine. You have invaded my sacred space. Now you shall face the consequences. Ethan, paralyzed by the supernatural power of the witch, could only watch as she administered a mysterious punishment, leaving an indelible mark on him. The next morning, Ethan's family noticed the change in his demeanor. He seemed distant, haunted by a presence they could not comprehend. Alarmed and desperate, they sought the help of a renowned witch hunter, a man known for his expertise in dealing with mystical forces. The witch hunter, named Gabriel, arrived in the village, equipped with ancient relics and knowledge passed down through generations. He listened intently to the family's tale and, sensing the gravity of the situation, ventured into the woods to confront the vengeful witch. As Gabriel approached the witch's domain, a spectral figure emerged from the shadows. The witch, acknowledging the hunter's prowess, revealed the reason behind her actions. He dared to desecrate my sacred ground, the witch explained her voice carrying a mixture of anger and sorrow. I seek only to protect what is mine. Gabriel, understanding the delicate balance between the supernatural and mortal realms, negotiated with the witch. He assured her that the boy meant no harm and apologized on behalf of Ethan. In return for the hunter's respect and acknowledgement, the witch lifted her enchantment on the boy. Gabriel escorted Ethan back to his family, who were relieved to see him freed from the supernatural grip. In the end, the village learned a valuable lesson about respecting the mystical boundaries that existed in the world. Ethan, forever changed by his encounter, became a cautionary tale, a reminder of the unseen forces that dwell in the shadows. And so, life in the village returned to normal, with the side road remaining a place of mystery and reverence for the villagers.